not the solution to this. The only solution is to kill you and cast your body inside the ocean because you don't deserve to live. Please, but please, that's not the best. Please. Please, Jimmy, please. <laughs> Very serious. Hmm. Her mother and her brother attacked me on several occasions. Hmm. After that meeting in the house, hmm. but thank God, the father was able to put everything under control. Mm -hmm. So they have all agreed that I will marry their daughter. Hey, so, oh, yes. Ha! He's a very good man. Very good man. Hey! He has even agreed to finance the traditional marriage. Hey, Busbana! What if I'm not in? Ha! Thank <laughs> God! So God has finally answered my prayers. Amen. Eh? You know this time time now. Blow grandmother. Hi! Grandchildren are told my pieces. God will be able to see that. Amen. 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 <laughs> Baba, eh? What happened? Nothing. Your brother has found himself a good wife. Hey, brother, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Brother, when is the traditional marriage taking place? The date has not been fixed. Eh? Hey. Mama. Eh? The date has been fixed. Is mm -hmm. Last Saturday of this month. Kids, why are you? I don't know why. Uncle, this wine is very sweet. <laughs> it is fresh wine. Mm. Mama, mm? how is it? Mm. Very sweet. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Uh, so, Ikem, how is your business? Business is fine. Oh. We thank God for everything. Um, honestly, Uncle, 
I came to thank you for the way you took care of my mother when she was sick. I'm grateful, sir. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, sir. Um, another thing is that... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I came to tell you that um, I found a woman that I wish to make my wife. Wow. <laughs> This is wonderful. I like that. You see, that shows that uh, you have started reasoning like a man. <laughs> Give me a handshake. Thank you, sir. Other is. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I am impressed. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. God has finally blessed my father. Very soon, I'm starting with this thing that. Hey, I'm happy for you. I know Head is getting married by the end of this month. Yes, so, my dear. You heard well. <laughs> he did promise to send me money as I was going back to buy some new cars and new shoes. Hmm. That's very good, then. Very, very good. That's good. Hey. 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 Good afternoon, ma. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Yeah. I'm good. Do you know where she's going to? How will I know? Yeah, of course, yes, of course. I you the only one that haven't heard that. She is among those women. I'm going to ask this with in this village. Agumba, my uncle. Yes, if you are doubting, let's go there. So... That was what happened the day I met her in my uncle's house. Thank God. Thank God you were there. Yes, my sister, let me go. I will see you later, okay? Okay, man. Bye bye. Bye. Hey! 
Sorry, sir. I was busy inside the house. Busy doing what? You've just started. Look at it. You've not even gone halfway. Please, hurry up. I'm running out of time for my meeting. Okay. Have I made myself clear? Yes, sir. I went to get something for my mother. Oh, okay. Nkichi. Hmm? Izenia is in trouble. Izenia? What happened to him? I passed by his house on my way here. Uh -huh. And I heard Ching with his wife crying. And I was forced to check what was happening when I got there. Ezenia was on the ground vomiting blood. And he has already vomited a large quantity before I got there. Eh? What happened? I don't know. I saw him going to Agumba's house this afternoon with a machet. He threatened to kill Agumba once he gets there. Mm -hmm. I suspect he has found out his wife's secret affairs with Agumba. Are you serious? As I am talking to you now, Ezenia has been taken to a herbalist by Titus and other neighbors who came out later. Wonders will never cease to happen. That was what I saw. That was what happened.
Nine titles. Nine titles. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I, I hope all is well. All is not. Forgive me. What happened? She started vomiting blood this afternoon. Before we could rush him to the herbalist, who lives close to the primary school. Eh? Give up the ghost. Hey, Uchimo! Chelo, he gave up the ghost just like that. Whoever is behind his death will never be ghost. Because from all indications, it appears someone is behind it. Hey! Uh, it's okay, let me be on the way. Me that much. Oh. I'm telling you. Wait, you can make it. Gives. It's mommy, and you know it. He got them from one of the most expensive mall in this town. Look at this one. Let me see. Let me see. I still have more here. Uh, uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh -uh. Mommy, are they beautiful? Of course, they are beautiful. <laughs> Kimifuna is such a wonderful husband. <laughs> nice one. Uh -uh. Thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> your business with the me for Have you been monitoring his personal account? His personal account is personal too. Why should I monitor it? My husband, you need to be wise. There's a limit to the trust you should bestow on people, especially in me Sweetheart, you needed to have seen the things he bought for her daughter yesterday. He took her to the most expensive mall in this town and shot and shot and shot all in the name of getting her a birthday present. Grace, Grace, how many times did I go? Have I at any time complained about a gimme for that and the business agreement I had with him? So that is not what I'm saying. So what I'm saying. You know that boy is very smart. You need to always monitor him. If not, he will wreck you.
take this to cool off and wait for the food to get to get you pregnant again after you lost your six month old pregnancy. Mm. It's just a year and some months. My daughter, listen to me. There is no point wasting your time with someone you are not even sure is a man. Yes. I mean, the only way he can prove to me that he was actually responsible for your lost pregnancy is for you to get you pregnant again. What do you mean by that? I might be very rude, but it's for your own good. I want this marriage terminated for you to get married to a man that is more capable. For goodness sake, you are my only daughter, and I wouldn't want anyone to mess you up. What are you doing there? Aren't you supposed to be at work? I'm sure I don't have a deaf and dumb child. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I have resigned, Dad. What? You have resigned? Why? How much I pay to secure that job for you? Then, what to get to this place? As a matter of fact, you just have to make all the partners in the company. Did that just fall out of your mouth? You must be a fool. A common one at that. In fact, I am ashamed of being your father. You're a common one. That's what you are. What is it? Mom. What happened? I told him about what we discussed last night. He just called me fool and left. Ah. Mom. He called you a fool just because of that? Mom, I this one. I can't take this anymore.
no need mistaking me for now. Tonya, how are you? Very well, sir. Um, I called you in respect of the transfer I made in your bank yesterday. The customer called me last night and told me he didn't get any alert. Um, I'm very, very sorry about that. Um, we had a little network breakdown yesterday. Yes. But I'm on my way to the office now and I'm going to get it rectified. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Please. Okay. Alright, thank you. Then. Thank you very much. of the transfer to the world last night. And she said it was a network problem. I knew it was a network problem. Yeah. Well, however, they said they would rectify it this morning. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Um, you promised to tell me why you were crying last night. Why were you crying? Mm. It's about the miscarriage I had the last time. You know, it hurts so much knowing that this baby would have grown up by now. And ever since then, I have not been able to conceive another. Am I not blaming you? No. Did anybody say you cannot conceive again? No. Then why worry? Look, it's high time you got over this issue and let us trust God. God's own time is the best. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let's eat. My husband, call a speed, a speed. That he asked to be part of your business does not make him a fool. After all, you did it for a stranger. Tell him to go back to work. That was what he was trained for in the university. Which work? The one he said he's no longer interested in? But Grace, come on. You are aware of how much I spent to secure that job for him. He has barely worked for three months and he's talking about resigning? Is he out of his mind? Time you talk about how much you spent getting that oh, job. Oh, because it's a lot of money. Is it not your son? He deserves the best from you. Let him just go back to that work. Because he's not going to get anything from me. And I mean it. Is that what you have said? Yes. No problem. But very soon we will know who is disturbing you. But come on, Chris. What is wrong with you? It's because of your attitude. That's why this boy has been exhibiting this stupid thing in this house. He's behaving anyhow he likes. Let him just go back there. If not, he's going to remain idle. <laughs> Taking in. 
You see, I'm, I'm beginning to get worried over it. All you need is patience. Everything is going to be alright. Well, I will get you a book on my way coming back from the office so that you and your husband can study it together. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Have a nice day. Huh? All right. Have a nice day. understand what I'm going to say now. It's not as if I hate your husband. I'm not against him, neither am I against you, nor your marriage. It's just that I can't just stay alive and watch one impotent man render you useless, all in the name of marriage. Mom, you can if is not impotent. <laughs> My daughter, you will not understand. You see, I have a feeling that he married you just because of your father's wealth. Mom, he came with man. I love ourselves. He love. <laughs> the love. <laughs> okay. I will ask you just one question. Hmm? If he loves you as much as he claims, I want you to answer this question. Tell me how much he has in his bank account. Whoa! Oh my yeah! In my You don't know! Oh no, I'll ask you again. How much has he deposited or withdrawn from his account this month? Is that really necessary? Hey, Abigail, it's very necessary. It is. Okay. If he loves you that much, why has he not made you a signatory to his account? So that at least you know how money goes out and comes into the account. Like I said earlier, I'm not against you. I'm not against you. Just that I do not want any useless man render you useless just because he's your husband. I hope you understand me. Good. Now you have to get here the shop. Look at me, your mother. No man can blame on my intelligence. Not even your father. I want you to be, to be, to be up and doing. Nah, shine the anya. You got that go? Mommy, mommy. It's true. I'm probably too much for mommy, mommy. Act like me. Don't go and don't be like that. Only in the name of love. I love your father. He knows. Mother, he cannot play with my Um, 
whatever my brother did for you when he was alive, mm. I, Agumba, can offer it ten times. Nani, nah, you've done so much for us, and I can't stop thanking you for it. <laughs> you've done so much, yes, you. You are welcome once again. Mm. Well, I know I've done so much for you mm. in my own little way, but um, that's one thing that is still left out. But you see, it's not good for a young and beautiful woman like you to be languishing in loneliness. At least you need a man in your life that can take very good care of you and give you the service you needed from a man. And I believe that I, Agumba, can do that for you. What exactly are you talking about? Bidja. Logan. Yes, I don't know. You are such a beautiful woman. I'm a master of your body. I'm a richer. And then I'm a genome. Say what? Take what? Easy. Say what? You know, you know what my late brother and I want to do the same thing. So you know, this kind of, you, don't, you don't need to give this thing out when I'm there. So it should be given to me. So that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh. Take it. Take what? Is it? Is it take it easy? Okay, let me be here, man. Okay, you think I'm one of those stupid women that you mess around with? Well, why you brought this stupid thing and Money away from here. Get out of my house. Say what you just said. I said, Sit down now, Get out. Say what you if not for one thing, if not for one thing, I swear I would have descended on you. Chicken man, you don't dream more than you think. The people who rubbish in here, they will never know how. Come and carry this rubbish. I'm turning the chair items and what do you Please continue, you have to see a doctor. Yes, I'll see a doctor tomorrow. Mm. I thought my phone was broken. I was very lucky this morning. How was such a thing never happened? Though? Maybe. Danny, mm. don't you think it's time you make me signature to your personal account? In case of any uncertain things. Just imagine what happened today. What if it has resulted to something else? Oh, forbid. It will not result to anything. However, you have a point in there. Um, by tomorrow morning, we'll go to my bank to start the process of making you a signature. Seriously? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. You'll be fine. Thank you. Sorry. Only go. A bag.
Chibike, eh? I'm going to Abigail's house. Give her back the phone she forgot in our house yesterday. Uh, just wait in the house for me, okay? All right. Okay, my dear. All right, bye bye. Back from from Kemefuna's house, sweetheart. That idiot just bought a brand new car this afternoon.
Well, I just wanted to give you the information. It's a very expensive car. Hi. Ah. How are you? What was that reason on the phone? That idiot, Ikeme Funa, bought a brand new car this afternoon. He bought a car? He will soon finish your father's money. You know, my job is at stake. What happened? It's a long story. Can we go somewhere and talk? I don't know if you're in a haste. No, 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 it's okay. Let's talk. You're my account officer, and I don't want my money to evaporate in my account. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, after you. Uh, Thank you. I'll follow you. Thank you. It's okay. It was on a Tuesday, two months ago, at the end of the day's transaction. Our various records were being collected and a deficit of three million naira was discovered from my own record. Three million naira? That's a huge sum of money. What really went wrong? I can't explain it myself. I was given one week to trace where the fault came from or lose my job and go to jail. But within that one week that was given to me, I could not find the fault. 
and the grace of three days was given to me. My sonar manager told me that he can't risk his job, that I should find a way and raise the money or face the punishment. This is serious. I already raised 1.3 million naira through my dad. Like I told you, but I have three days to raise the remaining 1.7 million. My dad puts one of his properties for sale, but buyers are not coming forward. This morning, a man came to the house and promised to buy one of the properties. But next week. That will be too late by then. Yes. And that is why I started looking for another alternative. Can you for now? <laughs> Please. Help me. I am telling you all this because I know you can help me. Can you for now? Please. I promise. I will pay you back with interest next week. I promise. Please help me. Save me from losing my job and going to jail. Please. Tonya, you know, you're more than a friend to me. And you've done some very good things for me in the past. Look, if I have this money, I will give you. But 1.7 million naira is too huge for me. It's just too much for me. I can only raise like 500,000 naira for you. Please. Please. You're my last hope. Please help me. Please. Please help me. Please.
the last person that's going to be hearing my voice. As I talk to you, I'm about to take my own life. Tonya, don't try anything stupid. Just send me your account number now so that I'll transfer the money to your account. That's why I've been calling you. Give me when I need 1.7 million and not 500,000 naira. This is the last day. I better kill myself than face this humiliation. Look, 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 I'm not talking about the 500,000 Naira. I'm talking about the remaining 1.7 million Naira. Just send me your account so I'll transfer the money immediately. Hello? 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 Can you hear me? Hello? Hello?
thinking you. You saved my life today. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when you called me on the phone and said it to me. Indeed, I am very, very grateful. No, 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 it's all right. We thank God for everything. But you should understand that no condition on earth is permanent. There is no reason why you should kill yourself. You never can tell what God has in stock for you the next second. Okay. I almost killed myself. I don't know what pushed me into calling you back and telling you that I was about killing myself. Maybe it's not time for you to die. Okay. But no matter what, that wouldn't have been the solution. Yeah. Once there's life, there's hope. Thank you so much. My area manager called. He was so happy to confirm the money. According to him, he never believed that I would make it. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Hello? What? My uncle did that? Okay, okay, thank you for the information. I have to go right. Is everything okay? Mm, just a little problem in the village. Uh, I will be expecting to hear from you by next week, like you said. No, no problem. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good day. Alright. Okoro, Okoro, 
I swear to God, I'm going to kill you and kill myself as well. Oh. <laughs> my son. Yeah, my son. out of my father's house and lock them up in a police cell. Timothy, what are you doing here? Now, get out of my house. Please, I don't just want to make talk with you. Give me the keys to our house so that I'll drop my bag first before going to the police station to bail my mother and my sister. I don't know which keys and hands you are talking about. And for your information, the police will not allow you to see your paper until you people sign an undertaking that you 
away, stay away from my house, Agumba's house, the house I gave to your father. This year, you're a liar, like the devil your father. Look, I'm going to the police station now. That will be here. So go ahead and tell him everything you want to tell him. He knows everything about the case. Young man, you have to follow me to the station so that you can sign an undertaking before your mother and your sister can be released. <laughs> Lots of atrocities in this land. You see, what surprises me most is that the police and the Igwe are very much in support of him. I don't know why. Eh? I'm shocked that my own uncle could do a thing like this. I didn't believe it all when I was in the city until I came and saw with my own eyes. Um, please. No, no, no. As things stand now, please, I want to beg you for this favor. Help me provide a room for my mother and sister to stay just for a moment. Let me find somewhere else to pack our properties that Agumba left outside. Please. Agumba. Agumba. Oman de Natalogana. It shall never be well with you. Uh, go on. Obidia, Obidia. It's okay. okay. It's okay. That's all right. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. I have heard what your son said. I am going to provide a room for you. Hmm? Hey. That's all. Thank you. That's all. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank you, yeah. mm -hmm. As for I will go and come back for him. No, no, no. no. Don't think of it at all. Agumba is a very wicked man. He can kill if you try to fight him. Please, I'm not afraid of him. Listen to me, my son. I want you to leave that house for him. Let him take. You are going to make money and you will build a better house. Yes. Please, my son. Please, my son. Help your own. Let God build the church. Like, as if you are going to the farm. <laughs> I want to go and fetch firewood. How are you? Doing? I'm fine, my sister. Hey, Choma, I cannot forget to thank you for what you did for us. If you had not called my brother, you would have known what happened. 
Has he gone back to the city? Yes, so he went back this morning. My sister, I am very, very happy that you have found the place to stay. Eh? Let me go. I'll see you later in the day, okay? Okay, my dear. Bye bye. Bye. Wait, Mama, for me. Okay. Who is Tony Aike? <laughs> What's this transfer of 1.7 million naira for? Please sit down. I can explain. Tony Aike is my account officer. was at the point of her losing her job and possibly going to jail. She approached me for her with a promise that she was going to pay back this amount the next week. She had only three days deadline to pay back, so I helped her. Please, I'm sorry I didn't tell you this. That is because you never intended to tell me. Now I know something is definitely going on between you and that girl. Yes. No wonder she often calls you on phone. God has finally exposed you. Big girl, how can you say a thing like this? Tony is just my account officer, nothing more. Hmm. Account officer, my fault. You can't deny the fact that you are having an affair with her. Yes. That was why you gave her such rich amount of money without letting me know. Abby girl, heaven knows that I don't have anything else to do with Tonya. I'm not having any affair with her. Liar! Liar! No wonder my mom has always warned me about you. Yes. You know what? Don't stress yourself. Just get ready to explain this to my parents. Abigail, Abigail! Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. It's all right. Thank you. It's all right. You see? Can you imagine? Hello, Chibike. How are you? I can hear you. I, I can hear you. Uh -huh. Really? You're already in Abuja? Thank God, though. No problem. As soon as you're done with the arrangements, you let me know, okay? Take good care of yourself, okay? Hmm? All right. Bye. Eh? Discovered this inside his friend. And who is Tonya Ike? I suppose it would be good. She's his land officer. But he likes to be with her. I said it. I said it. Thank God the truth is uh, coming out now. Eh? Um, Abigail, you are not going back to that house again. What is it? Who has this? Your daughter's husband. Whatever you shall say or do might be used against you in the court of law. Now move. Yes. Go.
comes back. Tell him to marry his account officer. He betrayed the love I have for him. God will never forgive him. Please remind me. I am Duke of your, uh, your student at Government College. Duke! Yes, ma'am. Is this you? Yes. My God! <laughs> when did you come back from London? Well, I came in last week, ma'am. My God! Hi, oh, it's so good to see you again. Yeah, I'm happy to see you too. Uh, <laughs> uh, I just came in to pick some stuff here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're actually trying to pay before leaving. Okay, okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Your money is 20,000. Oh. Okay. Madam, don't, don't worry. Let me let me pay for it. Let me pay. Oh, oh my God! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, here's some money. Ah, thank you so much. Uh, who is she? Oh, my she, daughter. Okay, your daughter. Uh, yes. Her name is Abigail. Uh, Abigail, hi. It's Duke, my student at Government College. Such a nice name. <laughs> uh, okay, let, let me have your number, ma. So I okay. uh, will come to the house to, tomorrow to oh, oh. see you people. <laughs> you are very busy, ma. I yeah, just got it and Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me. Pick All right, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. You.
You are overstepping your bound in this house. 